Mixed-use neighborhoods became a lifestyle concept in the metro due to the rise of residential communities near or within business and commercial areas. Urban planners, along with real estate developers, understand the value of creating a healthy and livable environment where dwellers can live comfortably, move efficiently, and save time and effort. That is when the future of city living comes in, the transit-oriented development. Transit-oriented development, or TOD, is an urban planning concept that is being practiced in many Western cities like Vancouver and San Francisco. Other Asian countries, such as Hong Kong, Singapore, and Japan have TODs as well. According to TOD.org, transit-oriented development is defined as a creation of compact, walkable, pedestrian-oriented, mixed-use communities centered around high-quality train systems. To further understand what transit-oriented development is, let's take a look at our neighbor, Thailand, and its bustling capital, Bangkok. Since the presence of the BTS SkyTrain, MRTs, and airport rail link, nearby areas slowly developed to become a transit-oriented development. The construction of upscale residential condominiums, office buildings, and commercial establishments led to an influx of people who want to work, shop, dine out, and live within the center of all the action. In the recent report of the Real Estate Information Center, Greater Bangkok is expecting a substantial increase in its land price by the second half of 2021. Areas near mass transit lines rallied the increase. To be specific, land price grew up to two to four times than the value of the overall land price. Real estate business in Thailand is a lucrative choice for investors. Properties along the mass transit lines reported 6 to 8 percent capital gains and rental yields per year, resulting to a fast return of investment. Real estate activities become more exciting, as the Bangkok government plans to expand its transit system by having a total of 254 stations by 2029. Thus, Thailand will be a big transit-oriented development, banking on its 400-kilometer rail system. Transit-oriented development in Thailand sounds promising, right? How about here, in the Philippines? As a matter of fact, there are already existing TODs in the country. In Quezon City alone, many transit-oriented developments capitalize on the MRT line, with North Avenue, Quezon Avenue, and Cuba stations, and the LRT2 line with stations in Araneta Center and Nonas and Kati Punan. The ongoing construction of Metro Manila Subway is also expected to take part in increasing the land value of transit-oriented developments. Through the Build 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 program of the Philippine government, more infrastructure developments will provide mobility and connectivity. It will soon transform the transportation system, which will translate to long-term comfort and convenience. With significant investments already committed in modernizing and expanding Metro Manila's transport infrastructure, it is already poised to follow in the footsteps of many thriving and sustainable cities around the world. More than increasing land values, TODs are all about enhancing people's lives, health, and well-being. Ultimately, communities and cities stand to reap the benefits of building around integrated transport systems. The future of city living indeed lies in transit-oriented developments.